Dying Earth, and welcome back to another episode of Dying Light 2 here on the Slumkigal channel. You're watching Slizney channel. Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck was that? Why did I do that? Last episode where we left off, we were looking for the brass knuckles, guys, uh, which go on your hands and you can use to beat people brutally. And speaking of beating, today we're gonna be doing it a lot, of, a lot of it to everyone. I figured a good way to start off today's today's session, today's gaming, is to tackle a little bit of a GRE anomaly. I've definitely been called that before. In this case, I'm talking a real creature. I'm talking a real night beast, if you know what I'm saying. I'll, I'll see if I can show you guys what else is going on on the way over there. Cool stuff we can do now. Ooh, we can launch ourselves. Could do that before. Big, big fucking jumps. We can do this big fucking uh, double jump leap thing. Find an opportunity to show you guys the other thing I unlocked on my classic off camera. Mm grind so if we go this way let's try this yep whoa oh no i missed it i missed it i missed it but we can also do this get back up here so we've got a lot of new moves to try out a lot of new moves to bake into the beautiful pie that is free running let's pop up here and the gr anomaly should be right over here please don't be alerted please don't be alerted please don't be alerted sir all right a chase is starting is this gonna be a problem while i'm in here is this gonna be a problem where'd he go Oh, fuck me, dude. I think we I think we are gonna have an issue. All right, he's over there. Let's see what we got to play with here. Whoop! Spear! Bitch! Come here, and we're doing the kick mode. Boom! Oh, that did a lot. Holy zoot, bro. Oh, we're wrecking this guy already. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's gone. Oh, fuck my immunity. I must rapidly... Consume things my body can't handle to build it. Oh, sun's coming up. We actually have to We actually have to annihilate this guy pretty quick here. Okay, we're gonna see if we can go for a troll. Oh, he's far away Cut this boys. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where's this fucker? Whoop. Where'd he go? Oh shit. You got a shockwave, dude. No one ever taught me that. Drop kick. Boom. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Just one more and we're good. Just one more and we're good. Let's vault off this guy. Oh, we are too far away. Let's get up there quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, ah! <laughs> we kicked him out of bounds just as the sun came up, too. Jesus Christ. And now we can go grab a snabo, this uh, inhibitor container, which should be in any one of these. I also found out something I didn't realize when my little beepo goes. Inhibitor container nearby. You can actually see there's like a little number down there that tells you how far away you are from it. And I'm sure you guys have already yelled at me for that. But now I know. All right, my funny stick is saying there's a little uh, beepus in here. Huge. Esporfin remains funny. All right, let's get the fourth out of here. We gotta go right over there. We need to find... Whoop. Hubert? Let's see if we can't activate this windmill first. Dude, I'm feeling pretty potent today. I feel like I today I could generate wind power. Oh shit, that's him right there. Okay, I do really want to talk to you, bro. You think I don't know you're here? I do, I'm, I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere at once. I'm speed, I'm control, and I'm power. You can't stop me, God can't stop me. Sorry, man, that... I get a little intense when they start playing the parkour music. All right, I, I, don't, know what, I don't know what to say. All right, it's not me. <sighs> the grippy coward back in business. Got the gripper, never misses. He does a different thing to this shit every time. It's either he puts the fuse in, he takes out the combobulator, puts in a different rod, rewires the wires, rejags the joggers. Oh, this is like a peacekeeper outpost now. Huh. Whoa! That became quite a goddamn outpost. Holy shit, man. What? This place is huge now. What the fuck? Additional PK structures unlocked in the area. Whoa, what? Dude, huh? Whoa, that's cool. Oh, look at that. All, whoa, all these have sprung up? 
Dude, I sound like I'm doing a fucking ad. It's it's just cool. I just think it's cool. <laughs> you? Just <laughs> see anything good there, dude? You sat there while this entire fort was constructed around you. Your your vision is currently blocked by a large metal building that I erected erected in one second. You Hubert? No, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get nah, bro, I'm Hubert. Got it. You no know one will be here. Maybe in an hour, maybe two. You never know with old half-assed. Half-assed Hubert. That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Good quest. Hey. Hubert! You I see you've materialized next Who's to me. Asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. Why not start playing chase music? Wait, wait. I'm scared. I just want to buy something. Oh, he's running away. So, that well, was Hubie, fuck. Wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. No, he's got an urgent appointment yeah, with shit. my ass. I mean, my foot's got an urgent. Shit. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I'm Hubert, I didn't mean it like that, dude. Come here. Come here. Don't run. I'm too quick. I've got the iron grippers. You don't want to see what they can do, Hubert! You simply don't want to see what they can do! I'm like Spider-Man, Hubert. They do close-up of my hands and little... And little things come out. Little grippers. Little grippy grabbers. You don't know what I'm capable of. Immense... Immense grip strength. There's nothing I can't hold on to, Hubert. I can hold on to anything. Utensils. A relationship. The past. I'll never let it go. Come here, Hubert! Dive roll! Where'd he go? Where'd Hubert go? Where'd Hubert go? He's not here. What the fuck? I'm I saw him right there. That little weasel must be Hubert, your disguise won't fool me. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I see him. He's climbing. Huh? See that GRE building? What? He's climbing to the roof. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> fuck, the movement in this game is so good. It has no right. It has no fucking right. <laughs> is he cry? Are you crying? Are you crying right now, dude? Hubie! Hubert! I just want to talk! Oh, there he is. <laughs> Leave me alone. I ain't done anything. Boom! Fine. We're chill. We're chill. It's all. Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything. No, I swear. It's not you I want to hurt. I'm told that you're a fence. Where's your barber? A fence? No way. <laughs> I'll teach him something. Sailor, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. Why did you run away from me? Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually, maybe. You seem a little sussy, bro. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on, everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. Oh, yes. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. Tell me or I... I've got dropkick unlocked. You don't want to fuck with me. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square. Near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Pack on. Army barracks. Hubert said okay. someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. Throw some barracks there. The army set up in 23 when shit was solved. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. All right, where am I headed? Meatpacking Square. To meet someone. Meat! Yes, the meat man is here! Ah! Ah! I'm not e there's not even commentary in this series anymore. I just I just fucking 
yell in like voices I don't even have. Let let's let's just go to the quest, dude. I'm I'm losing my fucking mind. I am just all legs today. I'm just the leg man. I'm the I'm the farthest from skipping leg day you could be. I skip every other day. Draw someone draw legs on the slime sickle. All right, where is this Maya I've heard about? Hello. Maya? You think Maya he or you think Maya hoo hoo? Don't put that in. <laughs> That's f Hello? It's one of these guys. Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. Where'd you find it? Let's How start did with you get that. A hold of a peacekeeper weapon. We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Yeah, give me the knuckles, kid. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass Hoosie what's it over? Are you nuts? The Hoosie what's it's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you the stupid thing, but for 500. It's actually really not bad. Like, I, uh, <laughs> I do a lot of grinding. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, okay, it's either I don't pay or negotiate. I could just, I mean, seriously, I could just pay. Like, that's, I actually have 500. I'll negotiate it. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water. And Listen, a kid. For my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. Speed of gravity is 9.8 meters per second. My last I can make sure you experience that Theo, for 500 seconds. Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. And now we've got it. It's just that easy. Here on Slum Giggle, we threaten children. Okay, let's hope that this can get us out of this, uh, this place. Bro, I'm feeling speedy today. Jesus. Woo! Tire service? Oh. Well, I am pretty pumped. Go ahead. What do these guys do when I'm not over here? What do they do when I'm not hanging out with them? Do they do anything? God. No, dude. No. No, dude. Bro, no. Go in there. Go over to that guy. Let's see if we can put one of these guys in here. <laughs> he died instantly. I do hope that they still have the, uh... Yeah, the spikes are still the insta-kill spikes. You love to see it. Oh, there's the sirens. I guess they finally caught me. Goodbye. I know, they said I was a- they called me a murderer, bro. They called me a murderer, dog. They- I'm fucking- Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Why would they say that about me, dude? Why would they say- why would they say- dude, I know. I didn't do anything. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Seriously, 600, 600 charges of vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> I hope they don't ask me to turn a kid in or anything. Misa here. And now we report to Ador. Hey, buddy, old pal. Oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. What's going on here? I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. Uh, a girl had him. She's... Ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. <laughs> Find that girl. What is the? Oh, did he just get? He just got promoted. Big day. Big day. Big day. Uh, I'll ask. Just to see if I could butter him up. Uh, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison. Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. Give me to the I center. You it's your turn. Let's see if he Get does. Me to the center. 
Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Dog. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Nice. A pipe. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me? Or you can wait until I find him myself. Yeah. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Uh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. All right. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Makes sense. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Oh? Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. Oh! They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you've found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Looking for someone with a nasty gash? I think I already saw one. Big old chussy. But I think I'm looking for someone else. And then I'm also trying shit, to find... Nobody. who's got hey, the skin. Still alive? Yuck, dude. You're worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Yucky, yucky. Meet me outside. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. I'm doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie. His right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... Do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Let's go meet these people. After having an intense, uh, very scary chase uh, through the entire city. All right, let's go. Woo! Being very careful. I've been uh, I've been pretty good about not falling to the ground lately. Ah, uh, fuck, dude! Are you kidding me? Frame one. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Okay, right over to the bazaar, which is right over here. Oh, there's a howler. I will say I do need some uh, some infected trophies to upgrade some things, so I might have to do a little bit of a... Uh, Ziga! You know what I'm saying. Oh, he didn't even start a chase because I killed him so fast. Nice. How about this? Oh! Oh, bad day for you, buddy. Are those bats? Are those... Oh my god, wait. Are those birds? What the fuck kind of bird? Ah! That ain't a bird, bro! That ain't a bird! Hey, who the fuck are you? Haven't I been here before? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. Oh. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know if I like this I guy. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. Walks away He's into the night. The biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring your own so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. 
Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who's talking? Who's talking right now? Oh. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Not good. Bad. And getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Uh, oh, I can ask him. Yeah, tell me. Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. Social it media bad. Because it was inevitable. Consumerism. Belief in the almighty dollar led to this Let's class. go anti-capitalist so, faction! Huge! We here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. Let's do it. We want to create a new order based on social bonds. On family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Glad I asked that. I feel like I learned a lot from this boy. All right. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. Oh, flock. So, okay. Hmm. To set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. Red, red flags. Where are you then? A sheep? I'm no threat to you. A wolf? You better watch out. Hmm. Crewmate or imposter? I don't like that metaphor. I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, uh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Uh, 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 I have a package for her. It's my own business. I need to tell her about Luca. I need to ask her. Uh, oh, jeez, Louise. I don't feel like this guy will like it if I say that. It's my own business. That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. Oh! But fine. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man. And we are many. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. I feel like, you know, for someone so zen, talking about a flock, um, I just don't know about all that, dog. I, I'm sorry, I had a moment where I couldn't remember if this was the place I'd already been or not. Oh my god, everyone's got shit now. Holy crap. Okay. Sorry, guys, I don't have time for you right now. Looking for, looking for a lady, looking for a guy, looking for Herman, looking for a big boy, big boy, huge man, big guy, big shoulders, broad shoulders, broad face. Sophie, can we talk? <laughs> Why? I thought we were good. Bro, that was zero to a hundred. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? 
Uh, what are you proposing? Love Other errands. The craft masters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. A micro transaction? <laughs> uh, v bucks? A certain transaction. Put on for anything me? I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? Carl says a lot I of things. I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Uh, let's see. More about Alberto these guys. and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer. The craftsmaster as we met. Before okay. zero hour, he had a Vincenzo, his son. I don't really need this in here. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Not physically possible. Uh, okay, I think I'll look for him. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Oh, bro, you're a big job, dude. Looking for work, by any chance? No! I'm an influencer. I don't. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fox. Oh? They've already sent one of their... F f f f f f fuckwits? Who? That fellow. <laughs> Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. Chunger. The asshole's nope. name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... A uh, hundred and twenty... Mi uh, miles, feet, yards. And, uh, <laughs> centimeters. Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. Mm. And a windmill on the other side of the street. All right, thanks. All right, sweet. Location added to my uh, my fucking brain radio. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney. Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. Oh, she didn't know. I'm throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Interesting, interesting talk, killing someone. Uh, why blame yourself? Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen, you said it yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. Backstory, juicy. What happened? How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in the dark zone before. I love dark GRE zones. Hospital. I, f I find every dark Saint zone Joseph I can. Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. Go. At once. You have to find him before dawn. I'll do my best. All right, Barney. Where's your dark zone? Ooh. Ah, fuck! Ah, my bones! I think it'll let me fast forward to night if I get the... It actually already is night. Okay, if I get there fast enough, I should be able to do this mission. And speed is what I've got a need for... Boom. Oh, that was cool. He kicked off the wall first. That was sick. Oh, this is going to be a big leap. Here we go. Ooh. OK, 
Okay, so now we just gotta look for a way in here. I think I just found a way in. Right there. Oh, Zooey so Mama! I'm inside. Zooter Tooter! Dude, I, I for immediately forgot what stealth was. I immediately forgot this game had stealth. Okay, we're just gonna go down. We're gonna take down all the ones we can. Okay, let's see if we can very silently, very gracefully make our way up. Whoop! Here we go. Oh, I think he's in there. I think he's in there. I think he's in there. Boom! How much does the shit weigh? Watch this. Watch this maneuver. Ha 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 Ah, there he goes. All right. What's up? Fuck. Now what am I Grapples to, to grapples, baby. Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Oh my god, you are? Whoever you are. Fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You will get them. Dude, let me in. Barney? Open up. Fuck off. Sophie. Why? Barney Why, though? Himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I guess. Barney? Go back to where you came from! My mother? Come out or I'll make you. Stop acting tougher than you are. Your sister is worried about you, bro. Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out! Out of what, dude? We're looking for rocks! Damn lucky you're busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! What are you doing in there, man? Okay. All right, waking everyone the fuck up. All right, bonk, bonk, bonk. I don't like to just kick people regularly, but you force my hand. I don't like to just punch people, hit them with my thing. Oh, I, I can't, I can't believe I'm just hitting people normally. This sucks. Bam, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Jesus Christ, are there more? Oh, God. Perish, buddy. Anyone else? Is that it? I think that's it. Barty, open up. Okay, that's it. Hey, buddy. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. No, don't. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? Who's Bert? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back. Understand? Saying kids out at he night? I don't know. He to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Oh, look. No fucking way I'm going to leave him on his own. Let's go. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you. Got it? Hurry! I need you to stand. Come over here. Over here. Right over here. I'm gonna need you to walk around. Excellent. Excellent! Excellent! Not too much! Not too much! <laughs> Funny woman, go! Yeah! Clip that, Dad! I mean, uh. Blood must be birdies. Trash should leave me to him. Definitely looks like a person and not a bird, but that's fine. Whoop, we're going up. Oh my god. I did so many moves I didn't mean to, but it worked out. But he was bleeding badly. Oh my god, we actually ended up in the perfect building. Hey doc. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus. Oh, and I think he went up. I see the I see the prince. Uh let's jump over this way. Okay, and then through here. Oh man, you do not look good, bro. A maiden, can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. He's not look good. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. 
It's my birthday today. Oh, dude. Uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. This shitty fucking birthday. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta. Hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney? He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Oh, soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Oh. What's going on? Nathan? Nathan? Well, fuck, dude. Barney. You there? Is there any loot? Barney? Aiden. You there? Shit. Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... What? He just left? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? What the fuck, dude? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Man, I really don't like this guy. I gotta say, I'm very much not a fan. That sucks. I really hope I do not have to break the news. Hey, just so you guys know, uh, watching this too, I think this is the point... Uh, if I remember right, this is the point where I've played this, like, very small section of the game, I think from here, like the next two, three hours or so. Uh, at an event that Dying Light did, so I know some things that happen, but I'm gonna try and make different choices, and I'm not gonna spoil anything, uh, but I know the general vibe of the next things. I didn't get to the end, though, of that story mission, and I heard it was really, really cool, so I'm excited to see what happens. Okay, cool, right, let's go. I just, I literally now, spent right? the entire event dropkicking Depends. zombies into mines. <laughs> Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Oh. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. Yes. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. I agree. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? No, you're gross. <sighs> you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That kid just died that on your watch, dude. Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Oh my God. Barney, the truth is this: you're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. I really do see where the peacekeepers are coming from, dude. It makes a lot more sense than, let us create the ultimate flock amidst the apocalypse. Why'd you trick me? Also, why do you suck? You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. God, I don't like this guy. It even plays "Don't Like Me" music when we're when we're next to him. How am I? I cannot like him. No, let's we talk to you. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. We gotta kill. Them. You don't negotiate with extortionists. What are we talking about? You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. What's going on over here? Prepare your men, and we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Oh, you're killing. These guys are such as fuck, dude. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar, only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. Uh, he saved Barney, remember? 
Just shit already. Mm. It's been days. Interesting guy, Jesus. your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. You really suck. You really suck. Wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. All of but them. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? I'm the gaming sort. <sighs> ask about the PK commander. Seems yeah. after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. <laughs> That's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. Hmm. I started learning that when I was a kid. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. Ah, right. And now, the you'll be transaction. Able to like I did with Barney and Birdie, it didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. Hmm. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Oh! Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. Mm -hmm. They Joe mined the Jack. tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. Well, shit, that sucks. They don't know, huh? Yeah, they definitely don't know. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. Seems Early like the kind of thing they'd, they'd help with, not right? us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. All right, what's the plan? And what are you going to do? What I have Let's to blow do. it up. Wait, no, we don't I want that. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I wanna ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. I can do that. Okay, we've got a combat point for some reason after talking to people, which is weird. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't be an introvert. Let's get head stomped first. We are, we are only focusing on the fucking parkour combat and I'm loving it, dude. We gotta go to the meeting place with Jack and Joe's thugs. I have a feeling this is not going to go very swaggily, boys. Let's do it. Let's try this head stomp thing too, huh? Hmm. Let's try with you. You there? Sophie, we're under attack! Oh shit! It's already going poorly. Holy fuck! I gotta go. What's going on? 
I gotta go, go, go. Fuck. Susie. Ooh. Aiden, hurry. I'm doing it, man. Oh, fuck. Well, that immediately went bad. Are you serious? Oh, it went sour. Now it's gonna go sweet and then it's gonna be gone. I gotta get there. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Peanut butter chocolate flavor. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Oh, I see bandits. Oh! This is not a discreet distance. This is not a discreet distance. This is not a discreet distance. Hey, buddy. Sorry. Boom! Oh, yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! Come on! Oh, I'm not done. I'm not done, buddy. I'm not done. Come boom! You like that? You like that? Feel fear, then feel my spear. Boom, you're dead. You never existed. I'm gonna travel to the past and kill your mom. Yes! Excellent! Oh, you think you can hurt me? I'm already dead. That's not even true. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. Hey, hey, hey. I will, I will say, though, swing again, swing again, swing again, swing again. Actually. <laughs> Got it? Bam! Oh! Man. If it works, it works! There are no survivors. Fucking animals! <laughs> Just... Bonk. Like the crystals. Susie had them. Susie had the crystals, huh? Uh, when I played this segment initially, I stealthed it. Glad to see we are far beyond that now. Susie? The crystals? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Everyone's dying. Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. Ugh, she's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Oh, what are these? Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. I don't see these crystals. Fuck. Hello, sir! Whoa! Good morning, buddy! That is one big alarm clock! What? The goon! Huge, ugly motherfucker! He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Okay, did I see bombs in here? Nope, there's nothing in there. All right, all I know is... Okay, all right, everyone's alive now. Die, 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 die. You no longer exist. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be comical. Whoop. Throwing knife, go! Throwing, throwing knife! Throwing knife, go! And that should do it. That should definitely do it. All right, boom! Legs. Okay, got him. Easy, easy, easy. Hey, buddy, hey, buddy, come over here. Nice, perfect. Thanks, you're gonna be a great platform for me. <laughs> yes! I'm unstoppable! <laughs> I see you're angry now. Then I must use my ultimate move. Okay, first of all, you go. You go. <laughs> I did not think I could kick him that hard. Oh my god. Holy shit. That felt incredible. Okay, we need to check bodies, though, because someone did just die, and that's not good. Uh, hey, buddy. Good morning. I'm already loving the stomp. I do not regret it. That one didn't have Sophie. it. Everything's been taken. I don't have it. Probably took him before you got there. Everything is can I kick him into the fire? Yeah. All right. You can! Whoa, Let's make dude. Joe's camp by the overpass. We're oh. gonna go after Carl. Oh! oh. Joe will pay for this shit show. This, th it seriously is any better than it has any right to be, dude. Just like, drop kicking zombies, jumping off of them, kicking other ones in the head. How's it going? Okay, let's do it. You alive, man? Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. What? Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Not good. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned, they took Carl hostage. Oh shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's I'll a Carl moment for sure. Back. It's a Carl moment. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ador will let us into the center. Alright. Oh, big boy. Hey, Herman. 
Where's Cersei? Why were you on the mission? I could have used you. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that means I should wait here. You have no idea if that was that's what it means. You have no idea. God, I hope no one around me has the stop ability unlocked. Oh. We're flashing back. Okay. Mia? Uh... Yeah? Adi Bobadi? Banana Nana Fofadi? Me, yeah. my, my, matey? Matey? Aiden, what's the matter with you? I'm tripping Mia, balls. where are you? I kind of want to just take in what's going on here. That's, like, really cool, actually. That is a professional artwork. That is not... Children can't do that. I can't get a spirit med kit and heal my soul? Alright. Hello? Oh, shit! No, no, no! Uh, hey, 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 let's get out of here, huh? Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Um... Hmm... Why didn't you send Herman? Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. He's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. Hmm. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. He's been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. That's pretty sick. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. I guess what next, huh? Uh, I, I don't really know how it would be connected to Lucas' murder, even. Right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! <laughs> if he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. Dog. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Uh, I can think of something good for the city. It's called one tap space, double press E. Birdie, to your health. He's probably taking this shit pretty hard. Tell me about Birdie, though. I gather you were close with Birdie. He tried to be a poet, kept showing me his work, and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was ten years old. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So, I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. I agree with that. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Eight or here. 
Leave, but make sure no one sees you. Oh. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. Saving my life? I thought I was chilling. Got them. Okay. What do you wish to speak about? Hey, I, re I think this is the thing I had to climb. Yeah! It was like one of the first things I had to climb, and I don't think I could do it. Maybe it was here, maybe it was a different one. Are you just one, gonna but... stand there, or will you come over? Alright. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Now? Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. <sighs> that doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie... I can handle them. Lucas thought so too. Look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere. With a piece of your hide cut out. They'd probably take off my big tramp stamp I've never shown on camera. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel mm. for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. So I guess they're trying to raid when we attack. This is all no, such no, a no, shit no. show, dude. But be careful, Aiden. It's all such a shit show. Join the party. Okay, yeah, sure, dude. I'll freaking party, dude. Only like six people have died in the last ten minutes. It's fine. It's fine. Dad, it's still there. Okay. Just Let's see where fish. Sophie went, huh? Looking for something? What? But I got what? He's not gonna tell me. Yeah, have you seen Sophie? I'm, I'm looking for. Ah, oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. He's draw. He's just gonna punch me Drink in the head. Up. Cheers. Water, baby. <sighs> Got a glass for you. Know what? Fuck it. Sorry, but I don't like drinking straight from the bottle. Ooh, the exalted count asks for a glass. That's me, baby. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook can't ever finish a sentence he starts. Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling him music? Hey, you mangy pricks! Say your prayers. Barney's coming! Come on, you. Come. And he's gonna kick your dairy ears. I don't even know what that word means, so he wins. This is Radio Man. Hey. Have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went... Uh, she said the... Uh, she went that way. Nice. Exactly. Appreciate you, Vincenzo. Thanks. Wait! There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with... Uh, uh, not working with... Uh, it's broken. That... Uh, Oh. Yep. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Oh, I've killed so many people. Vincenzo! Yeah. Why? Yeah, no, totally. Yeah, 100%. What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? 
I don't want to say I don't have time. It's not very interesting. I'm not that Whatever. exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. And I don't think All that's... being a pilgrim is to me now. How that works. to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone. To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet. But I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. Because of those fucking tests. Oh, now that's info. Now that's info. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And this that's guy's not info. All. That'd be sick. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others. Kids? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. What's the doctor's name? Do you remember this doctor's name? We're getting deeper. Name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. Mm. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. Okay, so now we know that there's multiple kids in the central loop. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. Alright. So I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan. I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your hell! I love you. Damn. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I that is such a distracting, it's such a distracting loop Linda on the back of her jacket. I can't stop looking time. at it. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. And he led me to her, to the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. Mm. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. Uh, I wasn't ready then. I am now. Well, if you got the right I think idea. I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? Do I tell her what's up? I'll just, I'll just say it. I mean... I don't know, dude. Uh, I don't re honestly, I don't fully trust her at all. She seems like she will, if she suspects me of being a PK person, she will absolutely turn on me. Oh, but me, I don't know. Maybe this will help. <laughs> About my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. I wonder if I could have gotten my radio fixed and I the picked the wrong option. The less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? 
<laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. Did she just warp? Well, fuck. I, what, 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 what parkour move was that? How do I do that one? Oh, shit. Fuck, I still can't make all the jumps, huh? Alright, what's pogging up here? Have you come? Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, uh, uh, we'll let them see what happens to Jack and Joe. And that we can do it to them, too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Oh, bandit camps? Hello? We're Far Cry now. So it seems like oh there's... God. Most are probably asleep. There's people there. There are a few entrances to the camp. Yeah, the front one is suicide. Entrance. It's got the most guards. You go in first, oh. we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Okay. All right, so the entrances are... I guess I could climb that. I could run up this. I could go around. There's a way in there, and I could go around back. The Duke Summoner. I think I gotta take the guys with the horns out first. Let's try that way. Change of plans, Aiden. They attack our safe house. Huh? Who? Sophie? It's like the front you bridge. I can't go in that there. way. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. Okay, will they see me if I jump in this way? Let's find out. We gotta be sneaky beaky, baby. Let's just do this fast. Easy. Back, 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 back. There we go. Okay, nice and easy. Brick. <laughs> it's called a stealth kill, guys. Ever heard of it? We're gonna- I'm actually gonna try and play this stealth. When I did this mission originally at a Dying Light 2 event, or the one that they, they had me at, um, I did not stealth this. I immediately jumped in, kicked someone in the head, and went bonkers. I will say, I didn't know I could do half the shit that I'm doing now. This feels like a spot where there will be multiple. Nope, okay. Spear go! Excellent. Liberating the camp. One person at a time. If I can make it up there first, that's where I wanna be. I'm about to get stupid. I'm about to get stupid. Fuck! <sighs> Stealth kill, go! See, that? You this? See what? See what? That was a bird. It was a bird. That was the craziest bird I've ever seen. Oh shit. All right, jigs up, jigs up, jigs up. I think no one's blown a horn. We might still be good. Okay, that looked like a lot of bones that just broke. All right, all right, all right. Everyone get off the platform. Everyone get off the platform. Things are getting a little silly here. Let's just all try and calm down, okay? Let's just all try and chill out. Let's just take, hey, let's just all try and... War is crazy. <laughs> War is crazy, bro. Oh my God. What the fuck? Holy shit, dude. I just changed him. Okay, I see the bandit lieutenant. He is... Oh, that looks like a fucking bandit lieutenant right there. We're gonna try and do this in one swift motion here. Don't know about that. Completely missed. And all right, don't worry about it. All right, we fucked up. It's time. We are no longer stealthing. Everything's hit the fan. Such is life. Such is life. Such is life, dude. Such is how things go sometimes. Oh, I can't. I can't block that. Fuck! I do a lot of damage. Oh my god. Nice. Hey, buddy. Did the bandit guy die? Oh, cool. All right. Well, that was. Uh, incredibly easy. But there's also, it looks like an airdrop up there. So let's try and get that. Looks like there's a way up that way. Excellent. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And the airdrop's right up there. So if we hop here, if we go that, yeah. Oh, just barely made it. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's fine. We're doing a little puzzle. Jump up here. Oh, now I'm in a restricted area. Oh, it was just right here. It was just literally right here. Nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. No need to do everything I just did. <clears throat> Open sesame. All right. And then we can just zippo bippo. Is that a guy down there? Is that an enemy? Is that an enemy? Is that an enemy? Is that an enemy? Yeah. It is. <laughs> oh. 
That wasn't even... I didn't even do that. You can't... That wasn't even me. All loot inside bandit camp will disappear. Oh, I guess that's fine. Oh, I guess I'll crank it. I guess I'll crank it. <laughs> Basis replaces. Beautiful. I think the spikes just went away, but I'll take it. Uh, Jack and Joe definitely weren't in there, though. Carl! I'm coming, Carl! Carl! Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Why does everyone- Radio Sophie. Fast. Oh. Why, dog? What's up? Sophie, I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? Is now my radio's fucked up? You have to help the maiden. Oh, man. Uh, 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 where's Jack and Joe? And where's Jack and Joe? They fled the camp as soon as they heard the sound of fighting. Oh, God, I should've known I'd done stuff. I don't know what stealth. they're planning. They said they were waiting on backup. What backup? Mm. I don't know exactly. Joe was talking about the renegades. Remnants of the old army, stationed on the dam across town. Lately, they've been spotted at the bazaar. All right, where do I go? Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run, fast. Oh, you know that's what I love to hear. I can't believe I let them Tango Motel is right over that way, yeah, and there's a lot of my goo over here. So let's go right around. How long can I even stay in this goo? Oh, five fucking seconds. Leap, leap, bound. I think this is the motel right here. Yeah, Tango Motel. Hey then, I heard some noises coming from Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. It definitely Remember is what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. Oh, fuck, what? I can, oh shit. I can either just walk away or try and help with this. Uh, 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 okay. Going to Ador would just mean leaving them to deal with Jack and Joe. We, uh, I say we go and meet Sophie. I have to go, Hakon. I promise to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay, I'll be in touch. Dude, that, that choice-o filter stressed me out. Yeah, uh, okay. I'm too late. This is bad. Sophie! Barney! You there? Sophie? God, Sophie, report in. Okay, so the peacekeepers came here and uh, and everything went wrong. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have just gone to Ador, dude. Sophie! What the hell is going on? Please tell me she's alive. Oh, tell me she's alive. Get in that way. Uh, I have a very bad feeling. Okay, everything's bad, everything's bad, lots of dead bodies, everything's shit. The hypnotic container is in there. You guys really just left this open GRE container right next to your base? I mean, it's cool by me. I'll take it, don't get me wrong. This is Does anyone hear me? Oh. Oh, this is not gonna look good. This is Aiden. Your men are dead. Oh, shit. Yep. Damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. I knew you'd suck, Help dude. And yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. I literally tried to what help you. What are you waiting you. for? Don't know what to do? It's Barney. kicking time. Barney, Let me crack my toes. It's it's kicking time. Okay. You're Is there just two now, of there's just two of you? That's literally not enough. There's that is in no world. In no fucking world is that enough, dude. There is not a single world in which that is enough people, dude. How about this? Touch the spikes. Touch the spikes. Oh, looks like someone is going to now fucking die. Ready for this? Bonk. <laughs> Excellent. 
Ah, uh, yeah, Spike from Dying Light 1. Let's go tell them that we're cool, I guess. I don't really know how we're gonna salvage this. Um, I will be honest, this is the same thing I did before, but I just couldn't bring myself to walk away, dude. I also don't remember it very well. Fuck you, figures. Big time! Oh, 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 no! <laughs> Please, sir, do not use the stomp skill on me. Look, ah! I'm looking for Sophie. <laughs> Sophie! Ooh. Damn it, this isn't about you, Herman. Get out of my way! Oh. Oh, Fucking Grizzly. grizzly. <laughs> oh, finally, Slime Skull versus Grizzly plays. It's real. All right, not a lot of room here to parkour. Let me talk to some. Holy shit! I could really just bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> Fuck you, Herman. You are miming now. Can we level up a skill point and restore our stamina real quick? Let's see. Dash. Oh, that's awesome. We gotta do dash. Great, we got dash. Oh fuck! I'll be honest, man. If I just almost won with that, who knows what this is gonna do? <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. All right, give me all your money. Sixty-nine? Holy shit, Herman, you're epic. It's not gonna work, right? I hope it doesn't work. Yes. Parkour time. Always where you need me, huh? I don't, I'm not gonna use that. I'm not gonna use that. I hope you know that I have a moral obligation to not use the ladder. We're gonna figure out exactly how we can get up without it. Oh shit, it looks like it might be necessary. <laughs> Zooey mom! Where do you come from? I've got a sixth sense, kid. I knew you were gonna get in trouble. Barney wanted to kill you. It means he has something to hide. Glad I can't hear. Something about Lucas, or worse. What do you mean? The murder of the commander. Now the takeover of the water tower. That's no coincidence, Aiden. Oh. Barney has long been looking to get out from behind his sister's shadow and rid Villador of the peacekeepers himself. I'll try to find him. Be careful. That's all not good. I'll go <clears throat> on, Aito. Let's keep in touch. All right. Barney. Hey. Come out. Come on, man. I will find you. You still in here? Aiden. Hey. If you ask nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Mm. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. Such a bad guy. <clears throat> this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aider. I don't work for Aider, I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. <sighs> Without water, the whole bizarre. I'm just will trying die to dying light to stay and human. The peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about <clears throat> us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? I'm a niche micro influencer. Sponsor me. Oh shit. Tr why would I say try me? That is an insane thing to say. I said we could help me. This is what I said at the at the time I played this before. Oh, try me? What an insane thing to say. Oh, fuck off, dude. Oh, shit. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens. You can try, but I don't think you will. Tell me who killed Lucas. The Morn thinks we did it. Waste of time. Shoot. Oh. This is your last chance, Sophie. Tell me who killed Lucas before I break down this door. Okay, she's got a crossbow. I'll kill you right here and now. Yeah, I know. I'm being, now, I'm being psychotic. You're more used to me alive than dead. We'll see how much longer that lasts. That went well. Oh, interesting. Before, I went in there, and now I can't. Huh, I wonder what's gonna happen. I am off the rails, hey, boys. You were right. Sophie and Barney were gonna kill me. I got a message from Hagel. Oh shit, that's cool. Glad you made it through in one piece. Let's meet in my quarters in the metro. We'll talk about what comes next. Okay. I don't know if I'm, like, on board with killing them, though. Oh, I worry that I have just charted a course for disaster. Well, I no longer know where this will go. Exciting! Let's go find out. 
Shall we? Oh, I do not have- I feel like this is not going to end well for Sophie and her brother, dude. And this is the water tower right here, actually. Okay. Ah, <sighs> what have I done, dude? What have I done? I mean, I don't like that she tried to kill me. I really don't. They tried to hang me that one time. I, you know, I am not a fan of that, I will say. Peacekeepers have ironically been much nicer to me. Yeah, yeah. Good. What's up? You were right. It was a trap. You know, it looks like you were getting close to the truth. Either they killed Lucas, or they know who I don't did. Know if I'd say trap. We'll but... force them to talk. How will you do that? By taking control of the water tower. Oh boy. Jack and Joe took off somewhere. Only stragglers left in the tower at best. This is the only source of water in the area. And whoever controls the water controls old Villador. So you'll take it by force? I could. With the bandits gone, the bazaar will station guards at the tower. At the first sight of the PK, there'll be an immediate clash of forces. <sighs> Well, I don't want to give them an excuse for war. However, if someone took over the tower quietly, it would be a fait accompli. <sighs> so you want me to sneak in there? Yes, and disarm the charges left by Jack and Joe. Take out whoever's left up there. But be careful. The tower's the tallest structure in the area. Tall? Climb? The climb up? 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 Cut up, off. up? Hands? Let's? Try. Seems like the only option right now. All right. Go for it. If you pull it off, we'll gain massive leverage for the bazaar to tell us who the killer was. I don't know. Here's my thing right now. Here's my thing. So... Here's the thing. We still don't know anything about who did it. We don't even know if they're at the bazaar. If the peacekeepers take the water tower, they're gonna keep it. We already know that the survivors are getting extorted for water. It does give them leverage, but it seems like the peacekeepers actually have supplies. Well, not so much for these guys. Okay, that's the water tower right there. I know we're gonna get a choice. We're gonna get a choice who to give it to. Uh, I gotta figure that out quick, because <laughs> I have no fucking clue. What's the status? It looks like the bandits- The status the is tower. I don't know what to do, it's bro! Unoccupied. Ader wants to take control of the water and force the bizarre folk to talk. So this is how he's looking into Lucas's murder. Yeah. He's not such an idiot after all. But watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown and he's dangerous. I doubt he'd just run off like that. Okay, the water tower. Oh, man. It's taller than I thought. Looks like there might be a container at the top as well, actually. God, I don't know. I feel like I've kind of fucked everything up with the survivors. I want to be able to go to the bazaar, though. Aiden, I like it there. Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're going to blow it up. You can't let that happen. Okay, let's take all these charges the off. Oh. Oh. Try and disarm the charges. These are mine now. Oh, that's a lot of explosives. Okay. Up here. Seems easy, easy. So far, straightforward. Very basic movements. Very easy peasy. Let's do a little bit of uh shum -a -nam -a -nam. I wonder if I could <laughs> actual monkey maneuver. There's a charge right here. No, sir, you are not armed. All right, if I were an explosive, where would I be? I would be in Slimesicle's inventory, but before that... Oh. No, we were supposed to take tribute. Just collect money. They're right behind that. Jack, give it back. They'll get what they deserve. They will die. Hey, man, I don't know about Jack, all that. Jack, I'm warning you. Where is the... Got it. We're good. Safe. We're good. We're good. More inhibitors, and now I gotta go deal with Jack and Joe. Jack and Joe went up the hill to fetch a pail of water, but little did they know. Came a boy with an intent to slaughter. This is my favorite part. Oh, I did this at night before. It's my favorite part. Listen to how loudly I open this panel of wood and how they just do not notice me. I remember this vividly. Here we go. Sneakily now. Sneakily. There it goes. There it goes. Just absolutely loud. Oh, oh, and I don't I gotta get a better grip on it. Here it comes up. It's coming up. Scrape it on everything you get there. Right there. Alright, let's hold it right there. Move it around. Now let's just Oh, okay. Don't make too much sound. Don't 
Oh, oh, oh. Be very quiet, very quiet, very quiet. That's why it's time for fireworks. Nobody's getting out alive. Holy shit, they actually made it quieter. Uh oh. Stop! Or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear! Oh! <laughs> well, I got news for you, buddy. You can't. Let's see if we let's see what negotiation brings. I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. Uh, you, you literally can't. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over. And to leave the city safely. I want it to be over, dude. Now help me. And I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. Mm. I dare you. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up. I don't know. I mean, do it, Doug. Hit it. I mean, like, I don't. It's not gonna do any. I maybe my ass will explode. They're all in my butt, but. Hey, isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Literally not. Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. Hey, I don't really know if uh I told you to play nice with Barney. If I want to do that for you guys. Don't listen to me for once. Play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. Huh? We tipped off the fucker, gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. Uh-oh, dude. About what? Well, about Lucas wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. <sighs> Barney's looking like instead a guilty of boy. Instead of the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. Ugh. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? You guys are not calm good down, dudes. Joe. I don't. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim, to the nearest safe settlement, and no one will die here. Again, that seriously will not do anything. I don't think I'm gonna help them. I I I will also come clean, guys. I helped them before and immediately regretted it. I'm not gonna help them. I'm not gonna. Help I don't them. bargain with extortionists and murderers. Well, now, look at the saint. The pilgrim wants to preach to us. A lot of peace. Oh, you fucking fool. Hit the- you're gonna blow Do up the building you're in? Now. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye, Bizarre. What? What happened? Your toys don't work? <laughs> you, you did this? You pay for that. Oh my god. People have got to stop sucker punching Here, me. <laughs> Time to die! The boys who live come to die. A broken bottle. Aha! Another broken bottle. Aha! A broken bottle. Aha! When I'm done with you, you will be alcoholism. Are there more things to throw at people? Oh, fuck. Yes, there are. Boom. Bam! And let's simply finish it with a little bit of a... Smonk. Hey, I'm sorry, bro. But not really. Okay, well, that worked. Uh, so what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Uh, so Who this is control of the water. So this is the thing. When you assign a facility to peacekeepers or survivors, they start controlling the zone around it. When a faction takes over a zone, it introduces structures. Peacekeepers start installing combat-focused traps, while survivors build parkour helpers that make traversal easy. The more facilities you assign to a faction, the stronger it gets, so it can install even better structures. The current state of city alignment can be accessed in the map menu. I can either assign to peacekeepers or survivors. So we get zip lines and we get car traps. Either way, it gets water. My only thing is I don't think that, I just don't like the idea that the survivors should be pressured into giving up the answer by controlling the water from these guys, but I might have to assign it to the peacekeepers because I think I fucked my relationship with the survivors. I, I don't mind the peacekeepers. I just, I do feel like I don't really want that military oppression here right now. Oh, this is rough. Okay, all right, send it. Yeah, it gave me an achievement for under pressure. I certainly am. I'm sure this won't have any consequences. You know what's crazy is last time I agreed to help the survivors and then gave it to the peacekeepers, so maybe I'm just a bitch. Rotate. Oh, whoa, I can zoom out. Okay, so that means they have this structure. All right. Back on. Hey, then, where the we fuck did it. Are you? 
Good to see you. Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. You can go search Barney's stuff. The coast is clear now. You can't be... Let's fuck this dude up. Oh man, okay, alright. So Barney's Barney's looking like a pretty guilty guy. I just I I I think the survivors needed it more. I'm making decisions based on my heart. That's how you know it's good. Okay, let's go reap what we fucking sowed. I am concerned. To say the very least. Hey, there's a zip line though, that's cool. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. Well, I wouldn't say that. All right, we just got to get up there. Uh, dude, I didn't like Barney already. All I needed was one more fucking reason, huh? Okay, we are now sneaking in instead of being invited in. Uh, looking for evidence as the sun is setting. Hello? Thank God someone put more rags in that container. Oh my God, someone's restocking this for me. Sweet. Let's steal everything they have. I gave them water. They don't need anything else. That should that should suffice. That is the piece of skin. Here's something. That is Don't touch it. You know what it is. Wait, what the hell? Are you just going to realize? Oh, that's That's human skin. Yeah. Oh, God. I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We still ain't Torrent. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Ah! Uh. I didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. <laughs> are you shedding skin, Barney? <laughs> what the fuck is? <laughs> we didn't. A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you <laughs> sicko. Fuck you. Nice try, but that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! Everyone punches me like that! My poor fucking jaw, bro! Alright, that's it, that's it, that's it. I'm activating my ultimate move. Actually hitting someone! It's all for you, Barney! Fuck you! I won, I won, I win. Stop it! What's going on here, for fuck's sake? Are you nuts? He's... He's setting us up. Bro, what? This fucking pilgrim is framing us. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? A of what? Am I being gaslit right You cut the right tattoo now? from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death, or when he was still alive. You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't. But your crazy brother- Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's <sighs> death. I'm going to aid her. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Yeah, I gotta ask, right? Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Ador! Who had the most to gain? Uh oh If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. Doesn't matter. I don't know. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skim Lucas, Aiden. And you know it! But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes, and we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. You'll help me get to the How? center? Oh my god. By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. No! Oh, it seems dangerous. They just keep throwing curveballs. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here. I don't know, dude. Okay, yeah, you look like your head hurts. I killed him in four hits. We're turning this shit up to hard, dude. We are turning this shit up to hard. Enemies are more serious threat. 
Oh, they adapt to... <laughs> excellent. Adapting to player tactics. We're going on hard. I want to see them adapt to my fucking foot in their face. All right, well, while we wait for Sophie's call, I think I'm going to end it here. This has gone from wacky to wackier, and now I have no fucking idea what to do, because uh, apparently both ways get us into the city center, and honestly, it is not very clear what the right choice is, so I hate moral dilemmas, and I hope to never make them on the next episode. Thank you guys for clucking, and I will schluck you later. You're falling into a deep trance. You will now go to sleep, and but before you go, you will now wake up. And when I, you, I, you wake up, and you subscribe, and you like this cylindrical video. You will now put it on autoplay for the next hour. And now you'll go to sleep.